Hello YouTube friends, the Crypto Crane Gang here with a quick follow-up to our S9 versus S9i comparison video. As some of you very astute observers pointed out, in our previous video we didn't dedicate a ton of time to looking at the performance differences between the S9 and S9i miners, and instead opted to focus mostly on comparing power consumption and usage. Though we did state our tests led us to conclude that the biggest difference between the S-series and SI-series miners was power consumption, and by proxy, theorized that the entire reason the SI-series was created was to be more efficient. But, in the name of science, we decided to run yet another test to see if, in fact, there were any tangible performance-specific differences between them. So here, now, is part two of our S-series and SI-series comparison video, Am I Better? Well, we're waiting. Yes, 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 let's get to it. To establish our credibility, we'll verify that all six miners featured are running at the same time and mining to the same pool, which we'll do by bouncing between each of their respective system and miner status pages on the web interface. And I've got some help to do so. Everyone, say hi to Jason. Jason, say hi to the nice people. Hi to the nice people. So Jason, give us a quick rundown about what we're doing. Sure. Basically, we look at the web interface for all six miners. We're identifying the miner type and the hashing rate, as well as the pool each is mining to. Obviously, there are only two miner types, S and SI, which is why we include the hashing rates too, so we can differentiate between the three different models in each group. And the mining pool is shown to illustrate that each miner is, well, mining to the same pool and therefore contributing the same amount of work and effort. Thank you, Jason. Let the discovery begin. Yes, sir. First up, the S Series 13 terahash miner. Yep, it says S9 series. And there's the hashing rate. Hanging at just over 13 terahash per second. Must mean this one is actually the S913. The system works. Ooh, my turn, my turn! System page says S9. Good, good, good. And over to the minor status page. Hanging out just over 13 and a half terahash, which means this one must be the 13.5. I am the smartest man alive! You sure are. On to number three. The system page says it's an S9. So, using the process of elimination, that would probably make this one the 14 terahash model. And lo and behold, it is. So there's all three S-series miners. Next, the SI-series miners. In the interest of time and because we're using the exact same process, we're going to just do a nice little fast forward through all these clips. S9i13. S9i13. And S9i14. There we go. All six miners running and connected to the same pool. Jason, would you say that firmly establishes our credibility and that we should finally get to the damn point? You know what, Craig? Yes. Yes, I would. Wonderful. Fortunately, this next part should go really quickly. Final baseline comparison point. All six miners ran for the same length of time. Just about an hour and 20 minutes. Now let's take a look at the 13 terahash models from each series. Focusing on the hashing rates and the board temps, we can see that there are almost no discernible differences regarding the performance of the 13s. Hashing rates and board temps are all practically the same, and the very slight variations are utterly negligible. In fact, although the differences are slight, the S series model actually had a higher hashing rate than the SI series. Guess new isn't always better, huh, Bitmain? And the 13.5 terahash models? Both miners are performing at just about the same levels. And like the 13s, the S-series hashing rate is slightly higher than the SI model. Consistency is neat. Now, can we go for the trifecta? Well, two out of three ain't bad. The 14 terahash miners are as close to identical as you can get. About the only difference is found in the board temps, with the SI series running slightly cooler. Speaking of, towards the end of the original comparison video, we noted that there's a discernible difference between the S series and the SI series related to fan speed consistency. 
The S series does that wind down, wind up thing that so many Bitmain miners do, while the SI series fans run at a much more consistent rate. Having run all six miners for a while, all three SI series miners reported very slightly lower temperatures than their S series counterparts. One could theorize that the more consistent fan speeds of the SI series miners are helping them run cooler than the S series miners. Of course, obligatory correlation does not equal causation, disclaimer here. This is pure speculation on our part. So there you have it. Our original conclusions were accurate. In terms of hashing, there really isn't any difference between the S series and SI series miners. But just so you don't leave here empty handed, we do have a juicy rumor based theory to share. Bitmain recently stopped manufacturing and selling the APW3 power supplies. Opting instead to go with a nearly identical APW7 power supply. This was a slightly confusing move on Bitmain's part, as the APW3 can provide about 1200 watts on a 110 volt circuit and 1600 watts on a 220. The APW7, on the other hand, can only supply about 1000 watts on 110 volts, while on a 220 it can supply about 1800 watts. Why would Bitmain do that? Well, with the APW7's uptick in power consumption on a 220 volt circuit, it would make sense if Bitmain was about to release a miner that necessitates such a power consumption increase, and, therefore, would likely be a more powerful miner than what's currently available. Again, this is all total speculation, but if it turns out to be right, just remember you heard it here first. Thanks for watching, and of course, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. Bye bye!